Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to have a talk about the transfer market on FIFA 20 and how low it is right now. It is Sunday, weekend league sell-off is in full swing. Actually, as you can tell by this graph, I'm recording this on Saturday evening, um, basically like midnight UK time on Saturday into Sunday, and the market is very, very low. If we actually look at the daily graph, according to the index 100, this is the lowest point that the market has been on the average for the day uh, since the beginning of FIFA. This is literally the lowest point of the market so far. And a lot of people are wondering, uh, and they're, they're curious, why is the market this low? As you can see, a lot of stuff peaked on Wednesday and then actually went down to Thursday and Friday. And as the weekend league happened and went on, a lot of people are selling their teams right now. That's kind of what's happening. A little weekend league sell-off action. Um, with the market already being somewhere where it didn't rise up before. And that's what I want to look at some cards today and kind of talk about what's kind of going on with the market because uh, a lot of people want to know why are these cards not rising? What is keeping the market low? And uh, are these cards ever going to rise? Or are these the prices that we're going to see? And are these the prices that we're going to be dealing with in this part of FIFA? I'm here to tell you today that the, the prices are definitely going to rise. Um, but I just don't think that anybody has coins right now. And you're probably wondering, why would nobody have coins? Well, EA has played this promotion very, very smart. They've been putting out SBCs that are very affordable for people to do. Basically, since the beginning of the game, almost every SBC that we've gotten has been very doable. Joseph Martinez has been like the most, um, what you could call overpriced SBC. Everything else has been pretty doable. Team of Pookie being around, what, like 25K? Lewandowski's around 100K, 120K. Maybe 150k, depending on his fluctuations. But I feel like that SBC is decently worth it for the car that you get. And then these ones to watch Promes SBC. This one's like 20k. Both of these are like they're like 60k to do these combined SBCs. And people are suckers for ones to watch cards because they have that opportunity to be upgraded through the rest of the year. So people have done these SBCs. People have gone and done the advanced SBCs as well. They added the National Pride SBC this year, which is disgracefully expensive. Like it's like what? It's like 120,000 coins over here on Footbin. Yeah, it over here it is over here. It's uh 121,000 coins to do this SBC on Footbin, which is pretty expensive. I mean, thinking about the packs that you get back, you're paying 55k to to get a rare players pack, 21k to get a 15k pack. This SBC is literally not worth it unless you're spending less than 40k for the entire thing, less than 50k for the entire thing, in my opinion. But people are getting sucked in and they do SBCs like this because they get packs and they're willing to do anything for packs. So people have probably spent, if you're doing all these SBCs, over 200,000 coins on SBCs. And for the average FIFA player, that's a lot of coins at this at this state of the game. So that's why I think you're seeing the market in a still a relatively low state. And that's why you're not seeing a lot of card prices rise. But what is going to make that change is more rewards continuing coming on the market less SBCs as the ones to watch promo ends. And of course, um, you know, just people being able to grind the game, people using objectives to get cards that they're using to then get, play more games, people building their teams, wanting to play the game more and uh, stuff like that. So again, the rewards are the thing that are gonna drive this market continually up because when people don't have coins, they either have to open packs, they have to trade, or they have to get rewards from playing the game. And the most common ways are just going to be opening packs and uh, doing rewards. EA did drop promo packs today. They've been putting 15K packs in the store every once in a while. They did again today. Um, and people are opening these, from what I hear. People open these packs, the coins. Sometimes the 15Ks actually aren't even that bad. That's what I hear. So that could help the market out a little bit as well. But the ones to watch promo runs through Monday. That's when a lot these SBCs expire. I think it's like Monday at 6 p.m. UK. That's when the ones to watch cards will go out of packs as well. Yeah, you see these two SBCs expire in one day, 17 hours. Um, so I think you should see through this next week. We said it last week. We said last week, yeah, the market's going to be rising throughout this week. It should be flying with rewards. But what we didn't realize was that last week, nobody had coins in here. The market was the highest on Wednesday because people were scared to sell anything or to buy anything because they thought that that... Um, we had obviously we had the SBCs come out. I pushed all the some of the gold cards up for the UCL marquee matchups, so that caused some some rise in the SBC fodder. 
like the Bayern players, the Barca players, the Spurs players, not rise some stuff up there. And, you know, we had some ones to watch movements as well, which moved cards on in the midweek. But now, uh, those things are gone. The UCL hype is kind of gone uh, with the gold, the UCL rare cards. We don't know what's going to happen with those just yet. And the market continues to go down because people are selling their teams this weekend. So what is that allowing for us to see right now? An opportunity to buy a lot of different things. So you know the market is getting too low when you see things like out-of-pack Team of the Week cards dropping below what they were when they were in packs. De Young is 170,000 coins right now. That is very low for him. Uh, Merton's 399. Aurier is 25 K. Team of the Week 1, Serge Aurier, who was 30,000 coins on Thursday. The graph's gone now. The daily graph on Thursday showed him at 31 to 32 K almost all day. He's now down back to 25 and a little bit below that, which is what he was almost in packs. 25,000 coins up here while he was in packs. Maybe a little bit of over-investing. I don't think it's over-investing with this card. I just think it's people using this card in Weekend League. And they're selling their weekend league teams to get those coins back in their club to do stuff this week. So if you're somebody who has a lot of coins, um, obviously you see me over here sitting on 100K. I'm not doing a lot of investing. I am doing all trading, a lot of center backs, a lot of defenders. I've been flipping a lot of this in Diddy cards, some ones to watches today, a couple just lazy sells that I've been doing, and a lot of flipping of midfielders, defenders, and of course, listing stuff for lazy buyers as well. Position change and chemistry style trading is how I am making my coins right now on FIFA. Picked up a couple uh, wants to watch Sarabias after his game today when his price started to go back down. That's a possible uh, place you could look as well because I think he's going to get in for him this week. Let me check in on his price really quick. I bought mine for 25 k What's he at right now? All right, so is that one just an undercut or... Yeah, so Sarabi is about 26k, so he's kind of still chilling in that same area. He was at 32k uh, in the hype for his SBC, or when the, not SBC, when he scored those goals IRL. So that's something that you could watch as well. But all in all, we look at so many things on the market, so much of this stuff is low. Benzema at 110k is a little bit low. I think this De Young card is disgracefully low at 170,000. Uh, you can see here that he was 170k last week while he was in PAX. Rose a bit above that. I mean, I remember seeing this card almost at 200K, uh, but he has the ones to watch, so you have to kind of factor that into mind too. But even Team of the Week 2 is very low, and since this market is low, it's causing Team of the Week 3, which is in packs right now, it's causing this Team of the Week to be very cheap as well. I am honestly still appalled that this Ndidi card on PlayStation 4 is around 50,000 coins. 50K for this card. He is the second best center defensive mid in the Premier League. This Ndidi card behind Conte, it is Ndidi. And honestly, Ndidi is not that much worse than Conte. Yes, you heard me say it. Um, he does lack in a little bit of passing stats, but his passing is very solid. This is a very, very good CDM in FIFA. Uh, and the fact that his inform is 55K, I could easily see in a couple weeks. Maybe this market is going to rise slower than what we than what we thought it would in, in compared to years past, but maybe in a couple weeks we see this card at 70,000 coins. I don't think that's too crazy of a number to think. So if you're somebody that's got over 300 to 400,000 coins sitting in your in your bank balance right now, um, and maybe if you're liquid right now and you're, you're thinking about picking up some inform investments, this might be somebody that you look at. He's Premier League. People are looking to upgrade their Premier League squads. I mean, they're always looking forward to doing that, but this could be a great card to do that with. Um, right now in FIFA. I think this card is a fantastic investment for around 50, under 55k on PlayStation. Um, I would like to get one into my club at some point um, on this weekend as well because I think that's going to be the low point for a lot of these cards. I do think you're going to see prices start to rise throughout the week as people are playing games. People will get squad battle rewards Sunday night and if they don't release any big SBCs throughout the rest of this week, which I don't think they will, maybe something um, on Monday or Tuesday they did throw a flashback SBC out last year, so that's a possibility. I mean, they could they could do something with that uh, this year. I don't know what their plans are for that. But um, I do think the SBCs should slow down, and that's going to help people out on this game a lot. It's going to help people out a lot when they're able to actually have the coins to do something instead of feeling like they have to go do an SBC because I feel like that's where people are getting trapped, and that's why the market is 
down. But since the market is down, if you guys do have coins, uh, if you're losing on some of your weekend league investments, you might take this as an opportunity to say, hey, the market is really low. I'm seeing a lot of stuff that is down right now. Maybe I should take the, the small loss and some of the stuff that I bought for weekend league flips that never really panned out. I have some cards like that for myself. Milinkovic Savage, I bought him at like 9,000 coins. I think he's now under 9K. I might take a little bit of the loss so that I can get an extra 100,000 coins uh, in my club for investing. You know, spending 100,000 coins maybe on this Gullivan card instead of keeping those Milinkovic Savages on my transfer list. There's a, probably a higher return on investment on this Gullivan card than on those cards on my transfer list with the Milinkovic Savage. So since the market is very low right now, somebody's at the doorbell, you just heard that. Um, <laughs> since the market is very lo low right now, uh, a lot of these cards are maintaining a low price because people just don't have coins to buy them, and that's why they're low, which gives us a great opportunity to pick them up. The informs I think you should pick up this weekend, um, but the, the, the rewards coming Sunday night I think is going to push the market up through into this week, and again, Thursday, I think you're going to see a big push. As you know, this weekend with rewards, or this weekend with foot champions, a lot of casual players probably weren't able to qualify for foot champions. So this Thursday's weekend league rewards probably won't be a big surge of coins on the market like we thought it was going to be last week. It probably is going to be another slow rise again this next weekend. But we can look to last week and see what stuff rose a lot, what meta cards rose a lot. And I would expect to see some of that same stuff rise again this weekend. Of course, more informs on the market. Uh, but this is, I just wanted to kind of bring you guys like a state of the market video, I guess, because as we looked at on this, uh, the index 100, as we looked at on Footbin and in the game, stuff is just low, all right? Stuff is just low and it's, it's just kind of too low. People are going to get coins in this game. It, it seems like it's going to take longer this year because EA are kind of nickel and dime this with SBCs. I said that in yesterday's video, and I really feel like it's true right now as well. People just can't stay away from SBCs. And when SBCs come out that are that are pretty cheap, you know, the 20 to 50K range for an SBC, so many people feel like they can uh, they can afford that and they can get that card in their club, uh, like the Promes or like the Lewandowski. I've seen a lot of people with Player of the Month Lewandowski. So I think... This week is going to be another rise in the market. It's going to take some time, especially EA is going to keep, I think EA is going to keep putting out these small SBCs um, like they have been doing this week. It just seems like it's what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep this market lower. They don't want it to explode just yet, and they want it to make it, a, they want to make it a slow, gradual climb. So I think that's what they're trying to do, um, and I think they're honestly succeeding in that so far. So GG Foot Economist, if that's what you're trying to do with this market right now, a slow rise instead of the big boom like we had last year for the first weekend league. But again, as more people spend time on the game, more people play games, cards are going to rise in price. So if you feel like you're losing money on your team and you bought it what you thought was the cheapest price or your investments aren't going up, don't panic, okay? Don't panic. We know this game. We know the people on this game. People are, will begin to get more coins uh, in the next coming weeks, all right? So if you got a, if you got a team... I'm, I'm kind of rocking. A, I bought a couple guys for my team. We packed Sissoko. We packed Martial and Tradable. I bought Nabry, as you see there. So I'm finishing Ndombele. I'm going to put him in the middle, and the team is going to be set for me. Obviously, I need to work on upgrading the defense. But, um, yeah, the teams are coming together, and everybody else is playing FIFA like that too. Their, their teams are coming together as well. But I just think at the moment a lot of people don't have coins because they're getting sucked in to SBCs to get packs or to get those untradeable ones to watch players and hopefully this week in FIFA we don't have as many of those SBCs so that stuff could rise but again right now the market is very low weekend league sell off is in full swing and I kind of wanted to just bring this video to you guys talking about what I see on the market in terms of the low end the low tier cards I mean we can look at the cheapest by rating tab we're going to probably have more SBCs coming in the future you're going to start here Hearing people talk about the second coming, the second month of Premier League Player of the Month, that's going to be coming soon. So that's going to be something to watch out for as well. Um, another SPC that people could possibly drain their coins into. But again, the market seems low, and I kind of just covered it for you guys why I think it is going to be low. But have faith, it's going to rise, okay? It's going to rise. People will buy their cards on this game. It's still a great time to be flipping, icon flipping, um, flipping with those chemistry styles and with the... Uh, position changes because people are still building squads. Once to watches are very fun to flip with. Uh, a lot of them this year are very active in terms of possibility to get informs. 
So even though we're not having a lot of um, just overall rise in the market or the market is still low overall, these ones to watch cards still move a lot and provide an opportunity to make coins. Same with ones to watches or same with icons, my bad. Same with icons as well. Both of those types of cards, um, ones to watches obviously are very easy for a lower budget, icons for higher budgets, but those two areas are still fluctuating a lot because icons are still very rare at this point in time. And wants to watch us have all the hype of being new in the game and uh, connected to IRL performances. So if there's nothing at all that you think you could trade with, look at those wants to watch cards. We do have international games this week. So make sure that if you're investing in wants to watches as they go out of packs, make sure you look and see, do those players play for the international squads? And we might cover some of that this week in a video on the channel. I want to cover icon flipping as well this week because I'm getting to a point where I can start to do that myself. I've been off to a slow start this year, but we're really picking it up today. I've sold all these 35 items on the transfer list have been sold today. So we've been doing a lot of selling today, a lot of trading, made a definitely probably 100K at least today using about 100 to 200,000 coins at the most to, to buy players and sell players. So it feels good to be making coins again. And uh, even though the market is low, people are still buying players. All right, People are still buying players. And I think you're going to see that market rise up a little bit this week. A little bit at the end of the week again, kind of like jump up in little increments. And then I think it's really just going to take two weeks for this market to fly. We'll see what happens with SBCs and stuff and people able to get coins in the game through rewards and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.